Hi, if you're looking for topics on photography and business, then stay tuned for this short video on how to select the right shot. Hi there, I'm Amy Lee from amylee.com.au and in this edition of Amy Lee Online, I'm going to show you how to select the right shot every time. Okay, so here we go. Choosing the right image or the right shot. One of the most challenging parts of being a photographer, I would have to say, is not the fact that you are actually doing a shoot or setting up the shoot, dreaming up a concept. Even processing is easier than this, which is choosing the best shot or the best shots for your clients to choose from. It's kind of the middle road between the shoot and the final product. And if your clients are making the final selection, you know, they will expect to see what we call a contact sheet, which I will go through and how to make one of those at a later time. And that all depends, the content and the extent of your contact sheet depends on, you know, your client's preference and how many images you will either choose to provide for them or if you're in a commercial contract with someone, how many images they would like to choose from as well. So for you today, I've shown you a selection of my images from a, a commercial shoot that I did for a client for her website um, and how I approached this selection process. So I always use my images are always chosen in their raw format before any editing is done and I will go through and choose the right shot based on the pose, the light, the way that her body language is talking to me um, and based on her makeup and all that sort of thing is going to be key component components to whether or not that shot makes it through. My, my little thing is if I can't stand to see it uh, if I couldn't stand to see it on a billboard, then I won't show my client that image because the likelihood of that image that you really cringe at when you look at it is usually the one the client's going to pick to have printed or put on their wall or in for display for everyone to see. And if you are cringing about that image, you do not want that as a representation in someone's home of what you can do. So in Lightroom, I always do batch selections or selects and you can perform these actions you know in other products as well but Lightroom does it really well as uh, for me. So the first lot of selections that I do will be where I cull so I will go through and choose the ones that I don't like and you know you can do that by highlighting all of uh, a number of images um, together by holding down shift and clicking on the first image and then you know obviously clicking on the last image that you want to uh, get rid of as you can see I've just highlighted uh, 10 images. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them all a star rating of 1 okay and as you can see I've just clicked 1 on my keyboard and given them all a star rating of 1 but I am going to keep these images so I'm going to give them a star of 3 because I like to keep three as my best or favorites number and five go into the ultimate which ones I'm going to keep for myself or print for my advertising things like that and <clears throat> you can do this by color as well if you want to you can go down and choose yellow um, but once you do that it will leave my folder because I've clicked on my colored red folder so you lose those the, the image the, you lose the whole all the images that you've just selected as yellow and they will disappear and that for this purpose of this exercise we'll leave them gone so i can you know cull by odd poses you know whatever doesn't work for me in that image it'll go the second select is usually organized by my star system so i'll go through and i'll choose by star which ones are going to be my you know my absolute favorites in this so you know things like this one here I'll give a five star rating um, and so on and so forth then the final way that I select is I have to organize this shoot surrounding the story of what she wants me to portray for her so basically she wanted to have these website images to show her natural beauty um, because she's a nutritionist 
and we had to go through and choose the images that best suited her website and colors and things like that. So I will finally then choose based on those specifics from my client which ones will go into my best shot. Now I usually provide between, depending on the contract, if it's a commercial contract, you can you know pr provide your client with up to you know a few hundred images to browse. With my clients, glamour clients and uh, personal clients, they usually will get to browse 25 images. Um, you know, obviously that's your personal preference, how many images you'd like to show a client in particular. So there you go, that's how easy it is to choose the right shot for your clients and for further editing. Now if you have a question or a query and you would like me to answer them on Amy Lee Online, just feel free to put a comment below and I'll do everything I can to help you and answer those questions for you. As always, subscribe to the channel to make sure you're notified of future videos coming up on this channel. So like, favourite and if you enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy this video. And leave a comment even if you don't have a question. I'm Amy Lee and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Until next time, remember, a vision without action is just a dream. Dark days of the summer with a feeling I can't refuse. <laughs> oh, he's one like this. <laughs> Gangsta. <laughs> okay, ready? <clears throat> Hi there, I'm Amy Lee. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm going to show you how to do... No.